Welcome back to the fourth part in working with lyrics in Sibelius. Today I want to talk about uh, <clears throat> how to edit the lyrics. Editing lyrics, you would like to do this when you, for example, made a spelling mistake. So let's, for example, this should be without a P. So the only thing you have to do is double click the word and then delete or do without P. For example, you go to exactly the way you should do it, you would do it in a normal word processor so you just delete it and then you click out of the word again on the score and there it is you can also select a word start to edit the word by selecting it first and then hit the enter key on your keyboard and it goes into end mode as well now if you want to go from one word to the next word to edit it, to edit it <coughs> use your arrow keys on the keyboard I have to enter it first of course and then you go so don't use the um, Got the, the space bar because then you're really going to add uh, change the words themselves. But if you want to go from one word to the other, in case you made a, many mistakes, you can do it like that. Now, um, something else about <coughs> the lyrics you can move them from one note to the other note, you can move the, the lyrics around horizontally. So, for example, say you made a little mistake here, and this, this. Um, the syllable, this word, should be under this note instead. Let's delete this one. You can do this by, delect, by uh, selecting it and then just hit the space bar. There you go. When you, so every time when you hit the space bar while having select a word, it will jump. So not when you are in edit mode because then the space bar does something completely different. But <coughs> when you are only in selecting uh, mode of the syllable and you hit the space bar, the word will jump to the next note. If you use shift space, it will go to the left side, to the previous node. So you can do this as well with uh, a little uh, hype in here. If you hit the space bar now while selecting the hyper, this is also selected, but you click the hyper and you hit the space bar, it will extend. And if you use shift space bar on a hyper, it will contract again. So there you go. So this is how you can um, move the words around. Now, um, Select um, if you want to horizontal adjust the wor the word syllables. If you want to move, you can use the mouse, of course, like I do right now. You want to have a little bit on the left, a little bit more to the right, to the right, or more centered. But uh, Sibelius is using engraving rules to be sure that uh, all the words <coughs> and syllables are lined horizontally correctly. And those rules are that if you have a normal syllable, a single syllable like this, the word is always centered under the node. So if I hit, if I go to uh, layout and reset the position, everything is exactly according to the rules now. So yes, you can see these single syllable words are centered under the node. But, for example, this is not centered correctly. If we go reset position and now they are centered under the words. The, um, so this is with single syllables. And Melisma, however, if I go back to the layout reset position is uh, lined up left on the left of the node so this is always with the melisma melismas are always left centered left lined aligned yeah. left aligned with the node so and you can see this reset position this is also perfect what you can do um, if you messed up things really a lot you think oh my god I messed it up uh, how was it again so the only thing you have to do is select the bars, go to layout, reset position, and everything will be normal again except when you pull it off the note. Because this little attachment line shows to which note it is that it's attached. And if you pull it too far, the line goes to another note. So even with reset position, you will not get it back again. So this is very important to know also. So, um, but of course, like I said, uh, a single syllable is centered under the note and melisma is left aligned with the note but sometimes you have the problem that there are so many words let's say one word the word is too long and if you have it originally um, well actually this this will be the problem with a normal single syllable let's create a lot of extra letters here and as you can see even when you go to layout red position there are so many words, letters in this word, and the word is still centered, so it goes to the previous bar. So what you want to do, of course, is to line this up 
to get a little bit out of the way of this bar. However, there is a rule, a stability test is according to a rule, so if you want to avoid these kind of things, you can go to house style and let's see, note spacing rule, note spacing rule, and in here you go to lyrics and you have here three rules that Sibelius is really using for the lyrics. Allow space for rules, of course, for lyrics, of course, we need this. Allow the first syllable to overhang the bar line, and that is what's happening here. And we don't want that, so we uncheck it. I really like to uncheck this one. And then allow extra space for hyphen, so on the left and the right side from the hyphen. So it's also checked. But let's see what happens if we uncheck this allow first syllable to overhang, overhang bar line rule. We have to uh, reset the position. <coughs> and I wanted to actually let's check it again, note spacing rule. Allow the first syllable to overhang the bar line. So apparently it's too long. Allow really it shouldn't do this. Oh wait, 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 wait. I know what I did wrong. Let's go back. I know it. There are so many rules. We don't check it. And we have to go to note spacing. Reset note spacing. I think I went to reset position. There you go. Now it is correct. So be sure after um, let's think. They do like this. Well, actually, this is not a problem. It's just, the problem is always with uh, the last, and you will notice it a lot. You will encounter this problem a lot, actually. <coughs> you see it really a lot. Let's see if we can find another example. <coughs> well, for example, here this one. This is almost going over the line here, over the bar line. If it would be a little bit longer, then. But of course, this time I already unchecked it. But if you go back to house style note spacing rule, and we allow the first syllable to hang the over hang the bar line, and we do a reset note spacing, you will see now it's allowed. So I really don't want to allow these things. So I'm going back to house style note spacing rule, and we don't allow the first syllable to overhang the bar line. We do a reset note spacing because that's what we adjusted here, note spacing and not reset position. And now it's out of there. So this is really important to know and it's it's really happening so much so it's good to know where to adjust this rule. So now another thing that you can do is of course uh, adjusting the position of the lyrics vertically. So you can do it like this and you can do it by hand and really at some point you think, oh my god, this is so messed up, how can I fix it again? Now, you can just select these bars, you go to layout and you do reset position and everything will be lined up again. Of course, this will also yeah, adjust other things like, for example, uh, maybe even worse or um, horizontal position that you fixed and will maybe uh, reset it also. So this is an other way to, to do this, so let's first... Um, <clears throat> and a better way to do this that only influences the lyric. For example, first select all the lyrics, and you can do this easily by selecting the first lyric in the system, then go to um, Edit, and then select More, and then it will select everything that is from the same uh, element that you already selected. So in this case, this is um, the lyrics. And now you can go to Layout, Align in a Row, and I have the shortcut for this command, <coughs> command shift R I use it. You can also align in the columns so that it's from uh, up to down. But in this case we want to align in a row, so let's select this one. And now everything is nicely aligned in a row. There is also a really a lyric command for this, a plug-in. So let's say it's a, again like this. And now you can really s just select all the bars because this only will influence the lyric. And I think this is the best option actually if you want to align the lyrics again. So you select this, you go to plugging, text, and then align lyrics. There it is. And exactly, it only influences the lyrics, which is really good. So I think I'm personally I'm using this one if I need to align the lyrics. So plugins, text. Align lyrics, that's the best way to do it. One other um, rule in, <coughs> in when working with lyric is about the, the note on the third line in the staff. 
if you have a, a note on the third line, you see the stem goes up, and this is to avoid collect, uh, collision with the, the lyrics. So this is one of the part of the rules in lyric in Sibelius when working with lyrics. But of course, uh, you can change this if you rather want to have flipped like this. You can use the the, the X key on your keyboard, but you can also let Sibelius do it by changing this rule, and you do this in house style. Um, edit instruments and then edit edit the instruments in this I think it was a choir instrument this was called voice this one if I remember correctly so let's go to singers voice and then edit this instrument edit the staff type there's a lot of things to go and then notes and rests and here are the rules for the stem notes in a single voice so this is stem length and here the stems on the notes. So here it says always up for the notes on the middle staff line or below. So higher, so starting with B flat on a B line and lower always the middle staff, the stem will be up. Now you can change this to down for notes on the middle staff line or below. So it will uh, now be used as in a normal instrument part. Or you can always have it down or always up. But let's choose this one for down for the notes on the middle staff or above. So do all the okays. And there you go. I have to down I said I think. Let's see reset position. You always have to do reset position or reset design in this case. Yes, there you go. A lot of time when you change things in the house style, you will have to do a selection and then just do a reset on the note spacing or reset on the position or in design and then Sibelius will really change the things. So there you are. This is the last rule for the working with the lyrics. So see you next time. Bye bye.